an MPC man and see a snake, you should first of all deal with the MPC man before you deal with the snake. It was a much harsher word. But I just reduced the harshness for the sake of this video. Baka, popularly known as Godwin Obara, was the person that they said sang a song and made these quotes in his music years back. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the full story and what it has cost and compare it with what is happening between Danielson, Igwe and Mackenzie of Mackenzie Comedy. Welcome to Helene's Corner. After the Biafran War, the Igbos were said to have been settled with 20 pounds each no matter the amount of money you had in the bank whether you're a billionaire once your money is in the nigerian bank you get 20 pounds if you have nothing of course nothing will be given to you the hustle began while a lot were still languishing in their misery there came the emergence of a band called the Oriental Brothers International. back hope that was lost due to a destructive war that was born out of this same segregation we are talking about in this video like you know music and success they became the most successful men in Igbo land as at that time from Kabaka's interview he said they started at Easy Going Hotel, a hotel owned by Chief James Azubike. At some point, they moved to Kano in search of sponsorship. They later relocated to Lagos, where they met and struck recording deals with Aphrodisa and the Denka Record Company while playing at few hangouts. You know how it is with most of all this group band music. You know the story of Two Face and his plantation boys. Even twins, P Square, are still having disputes. Not to talk of this people who were from different communities who came together to make us enjoy the food to our soul because music is the food to our soul their first split was in 1977 kabaka was the first one to leave the group he went and started his own brand of music due to disputes later on others also split it due to one thing or the other i want you to know that before they fell out they already recorded 15 albums Sawario died in 1999 while Kabaka died this 2024 all the disputes all the quest for money all gone the singing emanated from a hate song according to rumor that Kabaka did of which Kabaka later denied ever making that statement saying he never said anything and that his god will bear him witness and that this statement has caused a big enmity between him and the NPC people honestly if what he said in his interview before his demise is true then i really feel for him do you know how painful it is for people to carry false allegation about you and it will spread like wildfire and everybody will believe it hmm. if you have ever been in this show please drop it at the comment section let other people know how painful it is because i don't even want to explain it i've once been in such situation though it was just a school thing 
but then I, I felt so bad about it then. What I'm wondering is why it spread like that, even though it was false. Probably because the people involved were popular artists in the Igbo land back then. Maybe that's why it struck in people's head. Both artists are dead now and in fact what remains now is their legacy why i'm making this video now is that currently there is a dispute rising dispute or will i say allegation that dennis in Igwe went to complain that mark angel is not giving him what he's supposed to get even though he's a co-founder in mark angel comedy actually i was the one that started mark angel comedy in our own free time i will do those comedy so Max, okay, let us create a Facebook page and I said, okay. So suddenly, 2014, he bought a car. I said, ah, how did you even get money to buy a car? He said, somebody gave it to him. I said, okay, fine. And the thing is, I've not received 1,000 since that time. Oh. Suddenly, Mark bought like one acre of land. I think 10 plot of land then. And I was like, guy, where did you see money? He said, 2016 was the first time he gave me 50,000 naira. He said, okay, just hold this one. Eh? I know this need, you know this need they bring money. And we're making hundred and sixty thousand dollars then no. Jesus. What's your opinion concerning that? Drop it at the comment section. But what I just want to say here is since history has been reversed now, it is now the EBC man crying foul. Should we now say that when you see an Oluman and see a snake, you should first of all deal with the Oluman before dealing with the snake? Does it make sense? to us that was exactly what happened years back because of one person you join the whole tribe that has millions of people in it and then you say that they are all the same it is impossible these are general statements we make because of one woman a man will see all women as the same because of one man a woman will see all men as the same no we can never be the same events like this will help us to see how bad it is to treat people unfairly based on their race their tribe or even their religion instead of blaming a whole group for the action of few we should focus on holding those responsible accountable for whatever they may have done in every tribe there is the good the bad and the ugly say no to generalization say no to segregation don't use the mistake of one person to judge his tribe his race his religion personality or even his group please if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to like share subscribe if you're new drop your opinion at the comment section and i will see you guys in another one bye bye love you Mwah. thank you for watching helene's corner